What's up, world? Hey, I wanted to do a video, kind of commenting on a video that I saw this morning that was sent to me. Uh, I think the channel is, is uh, the lady name is Paris Milan, I believe, and she was critiquing a video that she was that she saw about a, where a young lady was crying and complaining about no that the black man does not have the black woman's back and that she's tired of fighting for black men all the time but the feeling she feels is not reciprocated and she and she and she did mention that it wasn't all black men it was a lot of black men which pretty much if you're watching the videos when people talk they're pretty much talking about all the black men or black women that they come in contact with they're not talking about people that they don't know because they talk to because if they would meet these people that had their back they wouldn't make these videos. I mean, you got to read between the lines. But my thing was, I listened to the red pill. I listened to the blue pill. Both sides, the masculinity, the femininity, all that. And I came, I guess you could call it a conclusion. Or, and I'm wondering, like, do each side actually listen to each other? Now, granted. I'll admit that I am, I'm more, I can tell I'm more of a red pill person. I, I won't sugarcoat it. I believe in masculinity. I believe, you know, man makes, should, you know, should make a lot of money, should be, you know, should be able to provide, should, you know, should be a man. Masculine, head of the house, then it's a hierarchy. I believe that. I won't sugarcoat it. But I also understand that there's an other side, even though, I, I believe you know I'm the I believe I'm the head of the house. The person that's next in rank or people that's down the line, everybody deserves respect and understanding. They deserve for me, you know, to do my job to make sure everything is, you know, everything is right. Which you know what I try to do, which is what I attempt to do. But my question is. Because I'm wondering, like, do these red pill and blue pill, do they actually listen to each other? And then do they listen to themselves? Because I feel that if they did, they would realize that a lot of stuff that they're complaining about and upset about, both sides have pretty much the same complaint. But the other side is not understanding them. So the question is not, or the solution is not to stop fighting for the for the black man or stop fighting for the you know the black woman the question is you know how do we get together and become a unit so we can all be on code because as long as you have a red pill or a blue pill you can try to say there's unity but still two separate pills you gotta understand you gotta see it like that so it's like you gotta get to a point to where the two actually the two pills come together and so that we can be together and be a, be a unified front amongst the rest of the world but like i said i don't think each side is listening to the other so then the question becomes what are you doing to deserve the respect or whatever you feel that you want what are you doing to deserve it? Now, we are quick to say, you know, black people are quick to say, oh, king this, queen that. But in actuality, am I, as, say it like this, am I as a man, am I doing what I should be doing to be truly labeled as a king? Do I have that kind of status to be labeled as a king? So I say, oh, you know, king of the house. Okay, you king of the house. Is the king doing what he's supposed to be doing to be so he can so he can have that title to deserve that title? Not because you know it to be men, you can call a man a king, but this cat could like not have a job, uh, you know, a bunch of baby mamas, kids all over you know all over the cities, all over the world, not taking care of them, and he, or he can be an abuser, a woman abuser, you know. How can you call this man a king? You can't. You shouldn't throw it out there. You shouldn't throw that title out there if he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. 
And the same goes as a woman. You can't just call all black women queens if they're not acting like, you know, a black woman should act. And no, I, you know, I know and people probably say, you know, who am I? I'm not even going to get to tell you how a woman supposed to act. Because personally, I feel that a woman cannot tell a man how he should be a man. She can tell him how she want him to treat her. But she can't say what a man is supposed to do because a woman can't, a woman, I feel a woman doesn't know that. And vice versa, I can't tell a woman what she needs to do to be a woman. I can just tell her how I want to be treated or how, I, you know, or how I want things to go. And she can either agree, agree to it or not. And you know what I'm saying? And then, and then we, and then we go along with our lives accordingly. I would say that on both accounts that a great place to start to figure out where you should, what you should do as a woman, or as a man is to go to the Bible. You don't have to be a Christian. I mean, I'm sure the Quran probably had the same principles and any other religion or, any, you know, any other historical book probably had the same principles. But from my personal experience, I know you can go to the Bible and it'll tell you exactly what a man is supposed to be, what a man's role is. And it'll tell you exactly what a woman should, what a woman's role is, you know, how to be a virtuous woman. What have you. These two things are detailed in the scriptures. If you are a person that prays to God or if you believe in the Messiah, I mean, if you believe that, go to church, you know, got a Bible in your house, read the Bible. And that's the first place you should go. You shouldn't, you know, be like holding it out when things are bad or want to pray and cry that things are bad, but you not reading the scripture. Because, again, one of the things I always say is faith is an action. You just can't say, you know, send me a good man, Lord, you know, Lord, send me a good man. And, but, you know, you're watching Real Housewives of hip hop Atlanta and Colorado and all that kind of stuff and think that's supposed to be the way you're supposed to act and think that a good God, friend, Christian, whatever man going to come is going to, has a, should put up with that. And again, like for us, you know, I can't sit here and say, you know, or a man can't say, I want a woman that's going to, you know, be obedient and submissive and, you know, do what I say and, and all that, you know, be like that or what have you. But then I'm sitting on the couch watching TV all day, like I said, not working, cussing everybody out, you know what I'm saying? Beating her, beating kids, smoking, drinking, hanging out with my boys until all, all hours of the night, doing, you know, doing stuff that's not becoming a, you know, a husband or, what you know, a man that's trying to settle down. You know, I can't demand that. So my, so I guess the point of this video is everybody has to do self-reflection. If you are a person, I feel that is single or you are in a relationship or you are unhappy that you feel you've been abused. You have to do some self-reflection, period. You can't think about what nobody else that do, does. You can't think of what that man does. You can't think of what that woman does. You have to see what you do. What have you done to help ruin the relationship that you've been in? Now, I'm not a psychologist. I ain't been to school for this or nothing, but I can go by, you know, personal experience. And that's what everybody can go by. Everybody can learn by their own person because you're going to learn by your own personal experience regardless so all i'm saying is like I say you got to do self-reflection do you you know think about the things you do do you, you don't know, curse too much do you drink too much do you smoke too much do you go to work do you work too much you know do you not do you not work do you not do enough around the house you know are you doing everything and allowing that other person to be you know, just lazy. You know, it could be a lot of things. You, 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 you can overdo it on both sides. But like I said, this is not a like I said, this is not a counseling video. Like I said, I don't have a degree in psychology or psychology or psychiatry or whatever it's called. You know, I'm just speaking, like I said, you know, from from personal experience. 
and from what I've seen, what I've seen in other people's relationships, and in mine too. So, you know, tell me what you think. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, think about it. You can write in the, in, in, the, in the comments. You know what I'm saying? You could do a self-reflection. You know, say the things that, like I said, you've done right. What you feel you've done right. What you feel you've done wrong. Don't say what you deserve. You just say, what have you done to deserve this? And I'm talking about actual actions, not in your mind. Like, you know, I'm here you know, I'm loyal. You know, okay, that's fine. But I mean, what, what does that get you? You know, but anywho, like I say, tell me what you think. You know, like, share, subscribe, comment. And when you subscribe, you know, hit that notification bell so you can get notifications every time I post I post a video. You know, you're going to notice a lot of these videos I'm going to make won't be edited because I'm going to say exactly what I'm thinking. Uh, and if I'm rambling and I'm rambling, if I, but if I'm saying a, a point, I'm going through it, you're just going to get, you're going to get the real me and what, I, and what I'm thinking. But I do feel like so this is this is a very important topic because we as, you know, black people, we as Aboriginal people, let me say it like that, how I really need to say it. We have to do better so we can stick together. And and I believe it's a, you know it's a lot of it's a lot of marriages, black marriages out there. There's a lot of you know couples out there that's together and trying to work it out, stick it out. It's a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm just tired of saying the negative. And the videos are all about the negative. Now this this channel will not be no relationship type red pill type channel bashing anybody. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. All I'm gonna do present problems, try to present solutions. Allow other people to present solutions to conflicts because I feel that everybody wants the same goal, but there are probably different ways to get there. And so I want to create a way, or bring I create, I want to bring a way to where I'm trying to make it as positive as possible. Let people make you think, make you think about. It. Like self-reflection, make you think before you say anything. Because you can say, you can repeat what your uncle say, your aunt say, your mama say, your granddaddy, your grandmama say, or what have you. But again, are you, I mean, but are you listening to people that's been married 75 years, or are you listening to people who had 75 relationships? You know, complain or people that's been, like, say, married for a long time, and you get to a point where they see the good in a relationship. That's where you want. To, if that's where you want to get to, then, then yeah, you truly need to self-reflect, and you also might need to, you know, change the circle, you know, of people. Because if you're dealing with nothing but guys that are abusive, then you may need to get outside yourself. Because that's one thing we tell like the kids. We tell kids, you know, get outside. A lot of kids. You know, in the Aborigines neighborhoods, they haven't been outside their own neighborhoods. So we try to tell them, hey, we try to tell the parents, man, get your kids outside the hood. Get them to a museum. Get them to the, somewhere, the zoo, somewhere, you know, somewhere away from just the neighborhood and the people that they see. Let them see that there's, you know, get them, you know, let them see that there's other ways of living. That is just not like what they see. Like in Spanish mind, you can have, look, read books, let them watch videos of other parts of the world. But it's be, it's always better to for them to get out, get a bus ticket, you know, catch an Uber, something, save, you know, some race money. You know what I'm saying? Learn and see different cultures. Trust me, it'll be better for them, and same thing, it'll be better for you if you get outside of your comfort zone. Find some internet groups to where you can mingle with people of different status. Cause I'll tell you like this, all these women say they want high high value men. If you ain't hanging around high value people, you're not gonna find a high value man. He ain't just he ain't just gonna pop up in your neighborhood and just say, "Hey, I'm looking for you." You have to socialize. Probably have to change the way you act or interact with people. Adjust it some, adjust the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you look. You may just have to for what you're looking for, men and women. Because if you, like, if a guy thinks he's going to get, like I said, a woman that's going to respect him and treat him like a 
like a king and she, he, he wants a you know, virtuous woman. You know, you walking around at 40 something years old with your pants sagging down, mouth full of gold, you know, still selling, selling dime bags of weed or whatever, and, you know, hanging out. What you think you're going to get? That man's going to have to change the way he looks, the way he presents himself, and change the people he hang around to get the person that he wants. But anyway, that's my video. Like I said, let me get out of here. Like I say, like, share, subscribe, comment to the video. If you like it, I mean, if you like it or don't like it, just let me know so I can make continue to make these videos, make them better. But until next time, 